morning everyone um okay first of all a confession um do you know honestly what every single time i press record my chihuahua starts barking it's like i don't know is she connected through the bluetooth or something how does she know <laughs> anyway okay. oh yeah first job first job today um is finish off this painting sorry the light is uh is not the best it's bouncing off for a little bit uh yeah i've been feeling very sorry for her she was the last bit of painting i've done uh quite a few months ago and what's funny is that when i when i was working on her um i was really in full flow and and then just suddenly stopped and i would normally paint in a background um i, I obviously i didn't know where i was going with it and and then the longer I've left it, the more I've kind of thought she's nearly finished. So maybe something in me kind of thought, yeah, oh, do you know, here she goes again. She's finished a biscuit. Anyway, so obviously I must have thought, oh, I think we're nearing the end. It's always tricky to know when to finish a painting, but I find you obviously, you tend to slow down. And... Uh, um i quite i quite like some of these kind of loose marks and these scratches um in there and i don't i don't really want to lose that i think um you know not not that i've played chess for a very long time but i think i think painting's like playing chess when you first start it's quite you can move quite quick you can shift the paint around on more layers wipe things back make really loose marks and see what comes through but towards the end of a painting your moves have to be a lot more considered and you have to think about what you want to keep what you can sacrifice anyway so i'm going to finish her she's i wasn't going to say she's been looking at me longingly i think it's been so long she is now staring me down as if to say Come on, Mrs. Uh, you need to finish this. I think she's getting a bit impatient with me. Um, she's been giving me the old side eye for a while, so might be able to finish her today. And I want to start the first few layers of a brand new painting. Ta -da! What's also really useful is that I do keep uh, like a little studio logbook. Um, I like to kind of map step-by-steps step um, of the painting and this one uh, was from obviously the painting I'm working from I can see the notes actually uh, started in May so that's how long ago it's been since I've painted uh, which is a bit sad but anyway uh, yeah so what's useful is um, I've noted down things like uh, the colour mixes and I'm gonna crack on well i think i finished her there was one little bit i really wasn't happy with and actually I felt like I just needed this kind of, I suppose they're semi-abstracted shapes of flowers, aren't they? Of uh, Those lovely big kind of roses you get in the summer. Um, and I just felt I needed this strong shape here to kind of counterbalance this strong shape here. I just felt like here it was starting to, I don't know, just look a bit nothing. And we just needed... But it's so hard to put those just final quite you want the marks to look spontaneous but at the same time you've had to really think about it kind of quality i don't know if that makes any sense but they're there i find they're the trickiest bits uh to work on um i think she's done what do you think maybe she'll stop giving me uh the accusing looks I think she looks a little bit happier now. She's got a headdress on.
morning everyone it's sunday and i've just got back from a short run and i feel so much better i got up nice and early it was a lovely cold crisp morning um this morning i listened to the yoga girl podcast as i went for a run i love listening to her she's she's like just really inspirational really interesting um or i listen to art juice and um, that's a really good podcast as well um just talking about you know what it's like being a painter and they have interesting guests on and it's just a lovely both of them are just like really lovely chatty podcasts um that are lovely you know while you're running or sometimes I listen to them when I'm painting and doing bits like that so I had a lovely run um and yesterday we went to Hebden Bridge and had a look around I absolutely love Hebden Bridge it's got a really kind of arty bohemian bohemian <laughs> I always say bohemian bohemian oh no <laughs> it's got a laid back vibe <laughs> and uh, yeah we went oh we went to Barco's with delicious pizza we saw lovely places like the Heart Gallery um, they've got an amazing independent bookshop it's just it's a lovely place uh, Hebden Bridge. I don't know if I just said where I've been actually because I just was laughing at my poor vocabulary. Anyway, yeah, we had a lovely time. So I'm just going to put a few shots uh, in next um, of there and uh, then, I, then I think that's goodbye. Goodbye from me. Um, don't really know how you end these things. Never really done it before. Uh, so if you've watched this, uh yeah you deserve those two custard creams uh, oh and it's goodbye from midi don't know if you've heard her and um take care hope to be back soon uh and i'll leave you with these lovely images of hebden bridge bye thanks for watching <laughs>